consist from two group of muscles intrinsic muscle extrinsic muscle intrinsic muscle يعني you can see it يعني it's um, invisible in the dissection you can see the arrangement of it longitudinal transverse okay circular يعني it's arranged in a different pattern it's different arranged in different pattern while the other muscles here the two fan of the muscles the genoglossus genohyoidus which is attached the tongue with the hyoid apparatus with the hyoid apparatus okay and voila then يعني, the tongue is sitting on the hyoid apparatus the basohyoid the stylohyoid styloid process of the styloid hyoid bone uh, thyroid thyrohyoid bone okay وهذا السيراتوهايويد بون وهذا اللينكوال بروسيس والبيزوهايويد بون نا نا هايكون اوكي سو اتس سيتينج اون ذا هايويد ابريتوس سيتينج اون ذا هايويد ابريتوس ان جنرال التنك از كونسيست فروم روت بادي اند تيب اور ابيكس اوكي روت بادي تيب اور ابيكس يو كان سي the attachment of the adjacent the soft pellet forming forming palatoglossal arch palatoglossal arch which is the palatoglossal arch palatoglossal arch you can see from uh, from the this side two tonsils called palatine tonsils palatine tonsils Palatine tonsils from here and from here. Okay, so this is the yes, this is the palatine tonsils, lingual tonsils near to the root. Okay, this is the epiglottis related to the larynx, mm -hmm. cartilage of the larynx, epiglottis form, laryngeal entrance. I can the upper esophageal entrance, the digestive entrance, the two recesses between the larynx and the pharynx, okay, connected with the uh, caudal, the caudal exit of the tongue, okay, mouth cavity. Then we have here thyroid cartilage, and we have the arytenoid, corniculate processes. Artenoid corniculated processes. From the inside, you can see the vocal, the vocal vocal cord. Okay, vocal cord or vocal fold. Will the ventricle, lateral ventricle of the larynx, lateral ventricle of the larynx. Okay, now do the now. The the tongue is situated in the proper mouth cavity in the proper mouth cavity as you know we have two types of the mouth cavity proper and vestibule okay proper and the vestibule the boundaries of the proper mouth cavity is bounded by the dental arch I call it dental arch occupied by what which organs occupied by the Tongue occupied by the tongue. While the vestibule, we have two vestibule mouth cavity: the buccal and the labial. The buccal and the labial. The labial we have two frenulum, labial frenulum, upper, lower. Okay. With buccal vestibule, in the ruminant you can see a conical papillae, a conical projection, conical papillae. Okay, from labial also. From the labial also. Okay, the upper jaw you can see here uh, behind the incisor teeth, the incisive papillae, and to have it have two ducts, incisive duct, <coughs> incisive duct, which is the connection or the communication during the development of the em uh, embryo between the nasal cavity and the oral cavity. Okay. يعني with the adult يعني هذه ال ducts أو this connection it will be rudimentary it's 
rudimentary and it's closed or blind in the horse more than in the in the ruminants okay then the tongue is situated or it's fixed by a frenulum which is double folded of the mucous membrane of the mouth cavity which is called lingual frenulum lingual frenulum okay fixing the tongue the tongue consists mainly from the body apex root the body of the ruminants consists from the prominence it's called torus lingui torus lingui while in the horse it's absent in the horse it's absent the shape of the tongue in the ruminant is pointed thicker from the body more than the apex the body is thicker than the apex it's thinner the apex our end is pointed and rounded while the tongue of the horse is a spatula like spatula like and like spoon like spoon and the tip or the apex is rectangular or quadrilateral okay so consists from two lateral borders okay and two surfaces dorsal and ventral surface as well i said the ventral surface it's attached with the frenulum lingual frenulum okay bit dog we have a thread like median in a median groove embedded in the median groove it's called lysa it's called lysa yani if i remove it it doesn't affect it on the work of the tongue the tongue of the ruminant is more mobile it's more development than the tongue of the horse why depending on the lifestyle of the ruminant because ruminant is depend on their tongue to take all the grass they are grooming the ground they are grooming the ground so it's take the grass with nails with spoons with wire okay while the tongue of the horse is huh it's not mobile it's quite not mobile why because the intrinsic muscle are fewer in number it's not developer like the intrinsic muscle that forming in the tongue of the ruminant in addition to that the horse is using its lips the upper lip or lower lip so it's unique nazika and it's using two uh, two lips the mouth while the mouth of the ruminant is quite mobile especially the upper lip it's quite mobile because there is a muzzle nasolabial plate okay so it's a quite doesn't quite fix not mobile so it's using their tongue instead of that to taking the grass and all the materials that found on the uh, floor okay so there is a structures or papillaries separate all the dorsum of the tongue which is called papillary first of all from the apex to the body consists from the thread like projection it's called filiform huh? it's rough okay it's rough roughy in the ruminant more than in the in the equine or other species okay this is a filiform papillary okay as you can see here okay you can see here on the lateral borders here the white points our dots this is the fungi form papillary fungi form papillary which is a type gastrotory papillary gastrotory papillary. this is the thread like uh -huh, rough this is mechanical papillary mechanical papillary okay this is a gastrotory papillary fungi form especially for the ruminant we have rounded structures lenticular lenticular papillary it's founded only in the ruminant it doesn't found on the dorsum of the horse okay so lenticular papillary spread above the dorsum above the dorsum all the body of the tongue 
In addition to another papillae, you can see it in the ruminant more than ما موجودة بالhorse, which is conical papillae. Conical papillae, you see it in the mouth cavity, at the lat the ventral border, على البكال واللابيال, and we have also the conical papillae near to the root of the tongue. Near to the root of the tongue. Laterally, near to the root, you can see here another gustatory papillae, which is called circumvallate. Circumvallate. Circumvallate is the number of the circumvallate, even four until eight, uh, if I count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, even. I diminished. So, according to the species, I mean, from sheep, beginning with four, five, bilgot, تقريباً, and eight in the large ruminants. While in horse, it's just one or two or three. Big. Uh -huh. This is the circum valid, near to the root of the tongue. Okay? Another castatory uh, papillae, which is follet. El follet. El follet papillae doesn't found, doesn't found here in the ruminant, but you can see it clearly in the tongue of the horse. You can see, huh? Cut, straight line. One, two, three. This is the follet papillae. تشبه الورقة leaf like, leaf like, leaf like. Okay. This is the follet papillae. Okay. We talked about the soft palate ridges of the hard pellet which is bony okay but, uh, i think it's finished lingual tonsils stopped 